Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Administration Learning Platform. In the today's vlog, we'll learn about the SAP HANA client. First, we are covering the small topics in the vlog. Once we done with the all the small topics, then we will learn about the big topics like the MDC, HANA replication and many more. So let's start. SAP HANA system is made up from the different components we can see on the screen that these components are divided into the different categories the first category is SAP HANA mandatory components second is the SAP HANA additional components and third is the SAP HANA optional components in SAP HANA additional components only two components comes that is SAP HANA server and the SAP HANA client so we can understand that how the SAP HANA client is important for the HANA system the second component type is SAP HANA additional components so additional component in which we can see it's important but not essential so the second one is the SAP HANA studio the application functional library which we also call as AFL then we can see SAP Live Cache application. It's a embedded application on the HANA database, which used mostly by the APO. And the last one is SAP HANA Smart Data Access (SDA). The last component type is the SAP HANA optional components. To get more information about the installing update and uninstalling the SAP HANA mandatory component and the additional component please refer the SAP HANA installation guide the next point that we are going to discuss is that why we need SAP HANA client we know to connect any application we need the client interface so here in the HANA system to connect the HANA database we are using the client interface as a SAP HANA client here we can see that the client interface available on the Unix, Mac OS, Linux and the Windows this interface get used to connect the HANA database so we can see the interface that is the ODBC, JDBC, Python go microsoft.net core these are the interface we required to connect the HANA database and that's the reason the SAP HANA client comes under the mandatory components when we install SAP HANA client on the server or on the client system so that time these all these all client interface get installed on the respective client system using this interface we connect the HANA database now the next point that we are going to discuss which operating system HANA database supports we can see that these are the OS platforms those are supported and in active maintenance AIX, Linux, then Microsoft Windows, Mac OS and Java SE 8 on this operating system we can install the SAP HANA client as well as on the Swiss server where we install the HANA database for the installation of the SAP HANA client on Windows client we need to use HDB setup which is the GUI installation option which is a inst GUI installation if we want to install SAP HANA client by the command line then we have to use the program HDB 
INST so this is the command line installation and if we have to uninstall the SAP HANA client then we need to use the program from the software packages and the program name is HDB uninst uninstall and the program name is HDB uninst so this program is for the installation and this program is for the uninstallation of the SAP HANA client now the next point that is the study material the material that I used to do the study of the SAP HANA client that is the SAP note that is the 2393013 so this is the SAP note in this SAP note SAP provided many important questions that comes in our mind while doing the first time or while doing the study of the SAP HANA client or working on any issue related to SAP HANA client so the first question we can see that what is the SAP HANA client so as we said SAP HANA client is the client which we use to connect the application or the client which we use to connect the HANA database so in aspect we can see that the product that connect with the SAP HANA client that is the SAP NetWeaver, SAP HANA cockpit and the interface that we use to connect the these applications these are JDBC, ODBC, SQL, DBC and the client software drivers are JDBC driver, ODBC driver if you referred this SAP note you will get all the information I can say all the information related to the SAP HANA client the other question is like how can a client be installed and upgrade so this information we already saw that we can find in the SAP HANA client installation and upgrade guide second is it possible to downgrade a client so the answer is no we cannot downgrade the SAP HANA client software we need to uninstall and then reinstall the client again to downgrade the client version uh, you can refer all these questions and and in the answer you will get the SAP notes that note will help you to raise your knowledge or increase your knowledge regarding the SAP HANA client and similarly related to the other aspect of the SAP HANA to get more information you can also visit my block that is the rupesh s chavan dot blogspot dot com we can see the blog related to the how to install sap hana client on the windows os in this blog i provide the steps that we need to follow during the GUI installation we need to use the HDB setup and for the command line installation we have to use the HDB INST so this way I try to explain the installation in the easy manner so the even the person who don't know about the HANA or the SAP that person also can do the installation so do refer this blog and provide your comments so I will try my best to 
add the knowledge if anything is missing if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you not yet subscribe and share with your friends click on the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming videos so thank you for watching take care